Hey guys, Will Chambers again, air1500.com. We are here on a relatively warm day in northwest Ohio. Uh, the weather's warmed up enough for us to actually get to the range and start finished up uh, testing some products that we've had in since about SHOT Show. One of those products is the LaRue MBT-2S two-stage trigger, which I have installed here in my main hunting rig. Um, if you saw our unboxing video a couple months ago, you'll notice that, you know, or you'll know that we like this trigger so far. Uh, it seems like a very well-made unit. Now we've actually had some time to really test the trigger, use it, send several hundred rounds down range with it. I've used it to try to shoot some nice uh, small groups with some of the barrels that we have in for testing right now. And overall, I'm very happy with the trigger. I think LaRue's done a great job, especially considering this is the first trigger they've ever created. Um, some of the things I really like about it are the crispness of the brake. The first stage is a very, very smooth take up and then you hit a defined wall for that second stage and then it just breaks super crisp. I'd probably put this up into the realm of one of the crisper triggers out there um, on par with a uh, Geisley uh, high-speed DMR. Um, maybe not quite as crisp as, as my Geisley. I, I actually own a Geisley high-speed DMR but uh, very, very crisp. Crisper than my Rock River triggers and some of the other triggers I have. So, very happy with the break of the trigger. Here's a short clip of me shooting a rifle with the LaRue MBT-2S trigger installed, where you can hear the break and the reset. Um, another thing I really like about this trigger is the wide trigger bow or trigger shoe, depending on what you call it. It's very wide, much wider than a standard trigger bow. Uh, I have large hands, long fingers, and it's just real comfortable when I get, get on the gun and go to shoot some groups. Uh, my only complaint about the trigger bow is the edges of the, of the bow are a little sharp um, compared to other triggers. Uh, I'm not the only one that's complained about it. You know, my wife and several of my other friends. Uh, that I showed this trigger to to try to get an you know an unbiased opinion from other shooters is that you know it was just a little rough you know a few minutes with a stone will probably take care of that so it's not a big deal it's just kind of a small thing um, and my only real complaint with the Larue MBT2S is the reset now the reset is very positive you get a nice loud click that you can feel however as you're letting the trigger forward after you've captured the the trigger after firing a shot there is very, very little pressure on your finger. A lot of triggers that I have, they'll almost guide you to the reset. You'll have that pressure pushing against your figure, finger, pushing it forward to the reset. With, with the LaRue, uh, it's extremely light, and I find that I'm just, I'm almost hunting for the reset. Um, it's not a big deal. I've actually gotten to where it's, it's almost not as noticeable, but when I first started shooting with it in dry fire, uh, in, and during dry fire practice, it was really bothering me. Um, so that's really the only negative I've found. Uh, the trigger is nice and light. They market it as a four and a half pound trigger. Ours is breaking uh, lighter than four and a half pounds. However, for my application, hunting and precision shooting, I like the lighter trigger break. Um, if you're a service rifle shooter, don't look at this trigger. It's, it's not going to pass weight. Not a big deal, but I don't think it's really marketed as a competition high power service rifle trigger. But as a hunting trigger and a precision trigger, it's very nice. In fact, I've shot some really nice groups with it with uh, one of the barrels we've got in for testing right now and overall been really, really happy with it. 
At about $250, it is very competitively priced. I don't think it's overpriced. Uh, it is right in line with some of its competitors like the Geisley SSAE and, and there's various other brands out there that, that are in that price range within a couple dollars, ten, twenty dollars. So I think LaRue's priced it competitively. I think it is a, a good trigger that is worth the money. Um, again, my only complaints are the reset. It's a little bit lighter than the advertised pull weight, which that could be a positive or a negative depending on your shooting style. And uh, the edge of the trigger uh, bow is just a little sharp. But other than that, a fabulous trigger. LaRue's done an outstanding job. Doesn't surprise me as they seem to excel with precision and um, making quality products. So go ahead and check out our full review. We're going to have all the information on there. Also, please subscribe to our videos, or, or excuse me, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to be continually pumping out new videos, you know, as fast as we can, giving you guys a look at some of the new products that we have in. We've got a lot of things lined up. 2015 is going to be an exciting year, so please subscribe. Uh, take a look, and also, if you've been watching our Facebook and Instagram pages, you may have seen us tease a little giveaway. Once this review is live, we are going to have a small giveaway where we are going to give away two uh, exclusive Dillos, which are from LaRue Tactical, the Tactical uh, Beverage Entry Tools, the nickname Dillos. We have a SHOT Show 2015 Dillo and an AmericanSnipers.org Dillo, as well as a LaRue gift card. So be watching out for that. Subscribe to our YouTube channel because we're going to be picking from our YouTube subscribers. And stay tuned and thanks for watching.